Hello, everyone, and welcome to the GraphQL meetup. My name is Eve Porcello. With me Hello. is <laughs> Alex Banks. He has a little hand. That's a whole other it's conversation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can contact us at Moon Tahoe. I'm Eve Porcello on all the social media places. This meetup is a collaboration with this.labs um, and we are Moon Highway. So we're based here in Northern California in Tahoe City. And uh, you can check out our website to learn more about all of the teaching and training that we do. But that's not important. What is important today is that we have a very special guest and that special guest is Carlos Rufo. He is with us from Graph CMS and uh, his Twitter handle is up here as well. So please everyone join me in welcoming Carlos. Yay. Hi everybody. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here with uh, Eve and Alex. Um, I think today it's gonna be a lot of fun. I have a lot of surprise, a lot of, I have a lot of swag. I'm gonna give away a book, Learning GraphQL from them. <laughs> uh, I think it's gonna be like super fun today. And we're gonna have, of course, like live coding demos uh, about Graph CMS with NetGS. We're gonna do a lot of GraphQL. So uh, yeah, super uh, looking forward to this meetup. Awesome. Carlos, what's in your background there? Where are you? <laughs> so I moved all the way from Canary Island, Spain to Lake Tahoe in Canada. <laughs> so. It's a requirement that all of our guests, even during the time of COVID, they need to make sure that they're here. Live in Lake Tahoe. So. Everybody comes to Lake Tahoe during COVID. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. Carlos is in yeah. the Canary Islands, which is very awesome. Where we all want to be. Where we all want to be. <laughs> I'd rather be there personally. Maybe we should have changed our background. Um, but, but yeah, I think, do you want to take it away, Carlos, and maybe give us a little intro to what Graph CMS is? Yeah, I think at first I can kind of like intro myself uh, a bit of what I've been doing recently. Um, so I'm Carlos Rufo. I'm a software engineer at Graph CMS, and I've been doing kind of like a lot of like GraphQL stuff, <laughs> I, I don't know, like at least for the last like three years or four years, which is a lot if you think about it. <laughs> I guess like not that many years than even Alex, because maybe you guys just started, I don't know, like 2015 or so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been it's been a, a long ride. Um, um, yeah, I've, I've created the, uh, the Spaces GraphQL API that we can check it out later. I was contributing how to GraphQL. I created, uh, I was organizing the GraphQL Hong Kong meetup and conference. Uh, lately, the uh, GraphQL Madrid meetup as well. Um, uh, and yeah, actually, I just joined two months ago, Gracia Mass, and I'm working as a software engineer, mostly doing front end infra and API layer. Uh, we are seeing a lot of like different features and also uh, trying to do kind of like more free time, like supporting some community events, uh, mostly the yeah, GraphQL uh, for now. Uh, so I guess like for today, what we are gonna do is like two sessions. So first gonna be kind of like a chit chat, have some fun, some jokes, some giveaways, uh, some like question that you might have regarding the GraphQL community, anything. And then we might jump into the Graph CMS and we're gonna do a lot of like stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess like in the, uh, in the in the chat, there are like some people already there. Like if you have any questions, just like please ask ask, ask me or like if you wanna ask also to Evo or, or, or Alex, that'd be also great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really want to, uh, to start the meetup because I'm super excited to be here. I want to kind of like tell a, a story and it's how Eve and I, we met and also with Alex. And um, I, I want to kind of like go into this because for me it was kind of like game, like uh, life changing a bit. Uh, so I remember for me, I was going from a hometown in Spain where we don't have meetups at all. And then I moved to Madrid and there were like one meetup per month, but you know, that's not many. And then I moved to Amsterdam where you had kind of like a meetup for every day. <laughs> and for me, it was like, yeah. <laughs> for me, that was awesome. Like, you can go and you can learn, and you're going to get free beers, and you're going to get free swag, and you're going to get free dinner. So I was every single day in different meetups in Amsterdam. And there is when kind of like I learned GraphQL in a workshop. Actually, uh, Alex Lovera, that you might know him, he's the founder of Red GraphQL Academy. He was imparting a workshop. He flew all the way from London to Amsterdam to give a Free workshop. Uh, and so I learned GraphQL there. I remember like 2017. Yeah. Um, and for me, that was incredible. Like learning uh, free dinner and free beer and free stickers. That was awesome. But, <laughs> it, but, <laughs> but that, that was kind of my, my first feeling. And that was, that was great. And that was awesome. 
Um, but everything was kind of like super serious. I was like super motivated to go there and talk to the people. And I was staying until like super late until they kind of came me out from the middle. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was and then I kind of like meet you guys in internet. And then I was, I was deciding like where, where I want to go, where I want to like kind of like, like work. So I went to Asia for a while. And then I saw that there were like two conferences. Uh, there were like three of them. So there were Reactathon 2018, uh, uh, React Conf in Vegas, and then Submit in San Francisco. So I decided to take, get a backpack, get my laptop, and go to um, to SF for like three months and go to the conference because I have never been in conferences before that. Uh, so everything was super serious, but then I met Ivan Alex, and he was kind of like <laughs> other level because he was kind of like, you were, I was going to the conferences, I was getting free swag, I was getting free dinner, I was getting free beers, and then I was learning, but having a lot of fun. Because I remember if you were speaking at Reactor in 2018 and you were making a game where you got to kind of like log in uh, with your phone and you were going to pick up someone depending on the, on the other stuff. And that was so much fun. And then after that, I say, okay, I want to do the same. <laughs> <I wanna try. laughs> nice. that's for me that, that that's for me kind of like that was like my experience because like from like even i didn't know what it was a meetup to go to a meetup and learning learn but also like have a lot of fun that was kind of like impressive and um, that's what that's what i want to say like i'm super excited to be here i'm super lucky to have to meet you and uh, yeah, hopefully we are gonna see each other again because that'd be that'd be awesome. Not this year, but yeah. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh yeah, we we absolutely will. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's so nice. And I think yeah, that's what we're always hoping to do. And we didn't really have a lot of meetup opportunities up here either. Like we, our we didn't go the yeah. first conference we went to. What was the year we went to Fluent? I think that was twenty seventeen. Yeah, twenty seven. We, yeah. we we hadn't gone to conferences either. Which was yeah wow. And I remember walking in and being like, "Whoa!" Like, <laughs> yeah. and like you know, <laughs> and like and, and feeling was... the same way, seeing people on stage and being like, "Oh, I can do that. I want to get up there." <laughs> like, <Yeah. you> know, <laughs> like, <laughs> and like, um, so yeah, so pretty similar in that respect, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I, like I remember if I think that you were uh, M, uh, doing the MC uh, React GS girls that you were doing kind of like the Windows. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that was wow. That was uh, incredible. Um, and then last year that I couldn't, I couldn't be in San Francisco. But your uh, Alex, your talk for me is like the best talk that I watched ever. That, that is not the uh, yeah. Um, so same, that was same, we were working on that app for like what two years at that point because it was the same like the same theme of the one that you saw with her. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah but I mean, like you were four, like yeah. Because you were doing a lot of fun, but then you 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 started like to sew the code and you were creating something about like your subscription, like a hook to handle subscriptions. Like what? That's like the perfect level of you know like difficulty in terms yeah. of like technical, but that's a super fun. So it's yeah. like a perfect call. <laughs> <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I gotta do that sometime, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. been nice not to have to worry about demos like that this year because we would just be in hotel rooms like crying. <laughs> like, is this going to work if we try to connect everybody to the same app? And hey. it always did, but like, it was so strange. We would change all these environment variables so that we could test it with fake users. <laughs> And, wow. uh, and then it was like, oh, did we change those variables back? Like you had to get it all ready to do. And so you missed one thing. Like, <laughs> it wasn't designed that well. <laughs> it was designed pretty, pretty okay, but still scary. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, yeah, I gotta say like, I'm super like fan of your work and please like keep just sharing your knowledge because it's awesome. Like all the bigs, all the courses, all the conferences, um, um, that, that, that is awesome. Um, so I guess up next, what everybody wants, maybe some swag. So I'm going to put in the <laughs> chat a link to get uh, free grass CMS stickers. So you don't have to even move from your home. Uh, you can be in your pajamas all day, and then you can just fill the form, put your address, and then you're going to get some grass CMS stickers if you want it. Um, and then I think we can go for the first live demo, maybe. Awesome. Uh, that is going to be a game. So actually, it's going to be a game. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so I'm gonna try to build a blog post. So everything from scratch. So I'm gonna create the backend from uh, with GraciaMS. I'm gonna create the front end with Nexias, and I'm gonna deploy uh, to Bursal. And the people they gotta input their bets in seconds. So from zero to let's say 600, which is like 10 minutes. Um, yeah. And the person that is gonna be closer to that number, uh, it is gonna get the learning graph code from Yves Bursal and Alex Vine. Um, oh, so wow. if you just yeah if you just join, uh, please put the number between zero and six hundred. Again, zero and six hundred, and then whenever he's close, I'm gonna put my bet. But that is gonna be difficult. Classic um, is the number. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Again. So I'm gonna put here uh, put uh, a number between zero and six hundred. I can say like zero is gonna be impossible. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Let's try to do under five minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna give some time for people to uh, to serve their bets, and we are gonna see uh, how long it's gonna take. Uh, but yeah, three, three, three. <laughs> That's uh, a good. Sure. <laughs> That's a good bet. That's five minutes. Okay. Let's let's try to do like, yeah, less than that. I'm not sure. Uh, if that's gonna be possible. But yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna I'm gonna be preparing all the content here. Ooh, 11. 11, no, Charlie <laughs> and Lynn said. 420 is I, the one someone online has to say. Yeah, that. That. <laughs> Charlie and Lynn said, please, it has to be between zero and 600. 11, I cannot, it cannot, I cannot take 11 seconds to be a blog post from scratch. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is, <laughs> that'd be awesome, but yeah, that's not possible. So if you can put, if you want to put another zero or like change the number, you can do it. Cool. And then uh, I'm gonna start opening the stuff. I think I'm kind of ready. I'm gonna wait a bit. So 420, that's a good number. <laughs> Five, all, eight. What do you say? Do, do you want to put, uh, yeah, you gotta put your input, Alex and, yeah, and, yeah. and Eve. Um, Between two? zero and 600 seconds. One, six, nine, nice. 33, what? If I cannot do that, <laughs> let's go. That's Thirty seconds. That's impossible. But yeah, four twenty-one. Like Price is right. Need for some, but that's me. Four twenty-one. Okay, that's good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm. That was my hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we are almost, yeah, I feel like we are like 15 people. So yeah, there are like some people they have interest in the number. So I think I can just share my screen and just put the timer on and start. Cool. And now I'm, I feel the pressure of everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> live coding. Live coding, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be fun. So I guess that you can see my screen. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think that I am ready. So I'm gonna he's start. I'm gonna go super fast and then we are going to kind of like I'm gonna be explaining what we are doing and we are gonna modify some stuff. Maybe yeah, I'm gonna add some content as well. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna just improvise a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys ready? Three, yeah. ready. Two, two, two. one, go. So first, I'm gonna go to uh, GraciaMS. I'm gonna create a new project for a template, which is a blog starter. I'm gonna put the name that is gonna be a GraphQL uh, Meetup September. Uh, no description. I'm gonna uh, select the, um, the the place where I am. In this case, in Europe. And then we go to choose the tire. Please check GraciaMS is zero. No credit card, no credit card required. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I just gonna continue and then we're gonna create. Then I need the front end. So I'm gonna go to Nest ES, yes, uh, Nest, Next ES, yes, not the count, that is gonna be Zoom, that's gonna be the examples. Under the repo of Nest ES, yes, we're gonna find, I'm gonna put this bigger. We are gonna find some examples. And in the examples, we are gonna find uh, the grass CMS ones, which is here. And I just have to hit deploy. So whenever we hit deploy, we're gonna select the branch where the repo is. Then we are gonna select our personal account and then we are gonna call it GraphQL Meetup September. And then I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna continue. And then we are just gonna give a name here. 
okay, we're gonna see this is not really done. So now we're gonna put the different tokens uh, whenever this is done. I'm gonna also create a uh, content. So this is already created. I'm gonna create a new post. So here we're gonna see the different authors. So my colleague from Grad CMS, here I am. I'm gonna create a new post that is gonna be this one. I'm gonna do kind of like fast to take not that much time. This is gonna be today. That is gonna be whatever. I'm gonna upload also a image that is gonna come from my computer. So I should have here in pictures, I should have here our meetup uh, image. And then we are gonna get close to the end. So now the content, uh, the cover images will be that one that I'm not sure where I put it. Uh, it should be here. So this one, yeah, yeah, we get. And then I'm gonna put like something here just in case. So I'm gonna save and publish this. I'm gonna publish also the image. This will be good. And then we are gonna just go to the settings. And in the settings, we're gonna get the API access. We are gonna get the endpoint. We're gonna paste it here. Then we're gonna get the product token to fetch the, um, the, the data and then the dev token. And we should be good to go. It's been two minutes. This is gonna be secret, whatever. And then we just have to wait for Versa to deploy. So I think this is gonna be this is gonna take like I don't know like 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, I guess. And then we are gonna see we are like two minutes 45 seconds. So it's like three minutes, it's 180 seconds, three minutes. So it's gonna be between 180, 200, 220, I guess. So we can check uh the bill. That is gonna take some time. And yeah, we might wait a bit. Uh I'm gonna check here. There is some one six nine, three three three, three sixty. I think one six nine is gonna is gonna is gonna get it. But yeah, let's go back to the project if I can. Here and we should be. Uh, let's check. Boom! We have an error, <laughs> which is oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes it makes sense because um, we can we can try to do it again. But yeah, I think I messed it up because when I created, I I put a new uh, a new post post here. That is gonna be this one. I forgot to put a tag, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not sure okay. if I can do this or this or this or this or this. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, but yeah, I can because this like name of new. I'm not sure if the author or I gotta. I, I think the author is. Oh, I think that I forget to put the publish the author with the pause. So this. Yeah, let's try it to. I, I look, we're gonna do it again, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess it up. So this is a failed test, like calling test. <laughs> <laughs> I just gonna, I'm just gonna check. Um, you cannot put input new numbers. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just let do it again quickly uh, because it's gonna take like yeah. I'm not gonna just add anything first. <laughs> yeah. Totally. So let's do it again. Three, two, one, go. So I'm gonna go to Grass CMS. I'm gonna create a blog starter. I'm gonna put any name. <laughs> now it's gonna be kind of like proper life coding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put a name, but that was it. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yeah, we go to the uh, to the, um, the example Nessias, and then we are gonna go. This is the you can see the the repo. Uh, please start Nessias. It's a really good um, open source. Um, wait, where I am here? Okay, examples. And then grass CMS, which is gonna be this one, and then hit deploy. Uh, it's pretty straightforward though. And this, and then I can put any name. This, and now I'm gonna call it Messias. And then we just have to wait here. Whenever this is done, I gotta pass paste just like this stuff, and that is gonna be done. Then later we can add any content so we can see a new blog. Uh, but yeah, at least I'm not gonna mess up <laughs> uh, the the demo. Uh, we can see one minute, so that's good. Let's check how long it takes. Uh, so yeah, I can just get the settings, go to the API access, copy these, put it here, then copy the, this is the dev, which is gonna be here, and then I'm gonna get the prod that is gonna be here, and this is gonna be secret, and then we are gonna hit deploy. So this is gonna work. And um, uh, yeah, I think it is gonna take two minutes, like a hundred, 
Whoa. Like 200, yeah, 180. <laughs> yeah, uh, quite it's, fast though. <laughs> so it's real fast. This is really like a real world example because it only takes a couple minutes, but you will have to do it twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> so at the end is gonna be yeah. At the end is gonna be like 420. At the end is gonna be 420. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty slow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh so yeah like now like whenever this is deployed i can try to add a new a new pause that is going to be easy but yeah something i didn't insert correctly so that's why the build fails but it fails because we are not using that script yet and there are like a lot of null checks that we are not doing properly so i want to just go to the example and the repo and just create a pr and move to that script <laughs> so that's not gonna happen <laughs> um yeah so let's wait we are at yeah we get so i'm gonna stop it 231 congratulations we have like the beautiful <laughs> confetti yeah, yeah, and we are yeah. gonna check that we have our yeah, look at here. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. right so then we can check the time 230 is like two times 120 while well, my math 20 150 right 151 151 yeah yeah, yeah. so 151 i think we we have it once six nine dead yeah. rig yeah. Derek Barnes. I think it's we have Derek. Three, 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 yeah. Three. yeah, Derek. Uh, 17. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Derek, right? So, yeah. So, yeah. Derek, um, I'm going to just try to just hit, if you're here, hit me up on uh, Twitter or let me know what is your, yeah, hit me up on Twitter. My DMs are open and I will send you uh the book learning graphical from this for sure <laughs> and this one that i i i really like a yeah you you released it inside me two years ago and i just i just got it and i just read it and it's it's a really good book um you've got the book uh please read me out okay that's great so now we can just try to break this <laughs> this up now <laughs> so now we are ready <laughs> Now we are ready to break it. Okay, so I'm gonna just explain a bit what we have done. So in Grass EMS, you can you have like several starters. Uh, we have a blog starters, we have a podcast starter, we have a swag store, we have a travel site, we are working also on event a starter, so you can create any like meetup conference uh, from scratch. You're gonna have like all the models, which is awesome. Um, I think this is the, our, 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 our theme. And in Grass EMS, we have like different views. So we have the schema view where we are gonna define our models. So let's say that we're gonna have authors, we're gonna have pages, we're gonna have posts, and maybe like CEO, right? Uh, so the moment we have, if we check the, con uh, this is the the model. So here we're gonna have like, let's say, let's talk in GraphQL, the fields, right? So we're gonna have the type author, and they're gonna have like the name field, the picture, and the title that they might have. They are gonna be like GraphQL primitive types as a string or Boolean or whatever, or it might be a complex type of maybe pause, and there's gonna be a relationship, right? And then later we're gonna do a, a bit more of the sign and we're gonna go through the different uh, features that Graph, Graph CMS has and how we can create like awesome application with it. Um, yeah, so we can see the author with name, feature, title, whatever, like page kind of the same and the spots, maybe they're gonna have like other stuff. And then we have the content view. So here let's 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 think about our like database, right? So here we're gonna have like all the different data. So in our authors, we can see here are Rona, Jesse, Jonathan, Jamie, and myself. And there's gonna be, for example, uh, we're gonna have the name, the picture, the title, the biography, and also the post, because they're gonna be a relationship. And then in the API, in the API playground in GraphQL, we're gonna be able to, you know, like just get, for example, the author, and, and from the author, we're gonna get the post, or from the post, we're gonna get the author, and we can also get, you know, like the detail of those types, right? Uh, so we can go to the post and we can create a new post. So I'm gonna just uh, create a new post that is gonna be GraphQL, uh, hi, GraphQL, uh, meetup set uh, folks. And then this is gonna be in a slide, I don't know, something like this, maybe. And then we can do the day that is gonna be today. Yeah, today here. That should be 1st of September. Wow, already September. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, uh, yeah, here's gonna be this. Here's gonna be the content. We have here a markdown editor, so you can add here whatever content. And then we have a cover image, so we can just upload an image that is gonna come from here. Uh, you can crop it, you can do whatever you want. Uh, so we are gonna upload it. And then we got a selected, which is here. 
And I'm not sure if I have to put tags. Tag should be required, but otherwise I can just like remove it, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think this should work. This and this and this, okay. So I'm gonna hit seven publish. I'm gonna publish also the image because you might have a draft. So you're gonna have two stages, the draft and also the publish. So anything that is published, you're gonna show in the app. So now, um, I'm not sure if there was, okay. Is, the content, uh, is that content field? Is that a markdown or HTML? Yeah, it's smart one. Yeah, I think like you can. You, yeah, you can have everything. Uh, yeah, you can yeah, have yeah. both. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, how you sell it that? But yeah, you can put code. You can you can put a lot of different stuff. Cool. Um, uh, then okay, so we have a new post, and we just publish it. We go to the post. We're gonna see here our post. Uh, yeah, I think the tag is to require, so maybe that's what it was breaking before. So we can just like put the tags a tag here, uh, and I don't know, like GraphQL, <laughs> maybe. Uh, is a good one. And then we're going to publish this. And then we are going to go to, first of all, we are going to redeploy. And we are going to hope that that is going to work. Uh, and uh, inspect deployments and then redeploy. Something that it would be really cool is like, let's say that you, like anytime that you are publishing any data to a public uh, type in GrassCMS, it would be really cool if we could kind of like trigger an event to like Bersel and redeploy automatically, right? So you don't have to go, you know, to here and just like hit like deploy. So anytime that you are like publishing any, I don't know, any new data to the publish stage, that you know it has to go through different like stages as maybe draft on QA or draft on yeah. developing or staging, whatever. Yeah. Uh, that'd be really awesome. And I think that you can do here because we, we have web tools. I haven't did it yet. But a, my colleagues, they are working on a integration with Gatsby Cloud, and they are going to be able to do so, which is awesome. So yeah, there is something that is failing here. Let me check. Um, there is some name. So we can just go to the code base and check name of who. Maybe it's my name. That's the same <laughs> um, I got I to I gotta select here myself. Let's, let's try that. The good thing is like Bersi is pretty fast, so we can just like try to read it again. And then we can check where this name is coming from. So I can go to the the front end where it's failing is a is a is an example. It's the same example that we have seen before in Nest ES examples. And then here we are gonna find the repo. I I got, I'm gonna get the repo and we can see also the, the code. And then we are gonna do some mutations, <laughs> of course. Um, so I can go to the samples, I can get the grass CMS. Uh, example um yeah here we have uh, the repo and i think there is a some extraction here i can create this app in my i'm not gonna do that i need my editor let's check first if this is already deployed yeah now it's deployed so maybe there was that i'm gonna sign you can see here the preview already we got our pause with our photo and high graphical meetups uh, september folks Nice. And if we click on site, we're gonna see here the content. And of course, like uh, this is like you know, you get the template, and then you can forward the repo, and you can change the styling if you want it. But this, you're gonna have kind of like all the posts that you're gonna have. You're gonna create with Bersel and a static a post slash whatever is the slug with the content. Uh, but now we're gonna see the the code base. Uh, but yeah, like in two minutes thirty seconds. Ooh. 150, yeah, 150 <laughs> seconds. Uh, you can have like a blog post. I don't know. Like I like to own my content because sometimes you gotta have like you know like there's there's gonna there's there's some paywalls that uh, they suck a bit. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. I I don't know. Like you wanna like a, own the content. Like you can just like use GraphQL with Bersel. We have also like integration with Gatsby if you write for Gatsby. Uh, but it's for free and it, it takes I don't know like 150 seconds. You might have that now with the COVID, so we cannot go anywhere. <laughs> so we might we have to kind of like just build it. Yeah. We cannot we cannot do other things. <laughs> One of the things that I love about this, right, is a lot of people always ask us like, okay, well, how do you get into web development? How do you become an engineer? And and the goal is to get a job, right? And of course, it's all everybody's goal is to get a job. But one of the beautiful things I think about web development is you can create your own destiny, right? Yeah. You don't necessarily need to get a job or be hired to start making money. And you can start making money during the learning process. If you learn to use a tool, you saw how fast Carlos put those sites up. Yeah. If you learn to use a tool like Graph CMS, and then you find 
some people in the community that need websites that for uh, not a whole huge cost, um, you can really learn to start cranking out websites. All of those templates and everything are like 80 to 90% of what you'd have to do. So if you got a web project and you get you flat rate it, maybe a couple thousand dollars, look at that in two minutes, you could have it up. So like, you know, next week you could be meeting people and showing them like a site um, just from being good at using Graph CMS while you're learning all yeah. of the other stuff that you're going to need to successfully pass that interview, you can actually start a company and start making money. So m most of my recommendations to people who are getting into web development is it's time to, is to build something. And these tools like this are indispensable. Yeah. So you see how fast it, I mean, I was just like, I was going back to when I had a web development company, it was just dollar signs in my eyes because how many sites, if you can stand that up that fast, then how many websites can you build a week? Totally. And then you can, you know, like how many websites does your community need or your like local, yeah. like, so. Yeah. So well, I don't, don't want to think kind of like in the nineties or like, like how, like how much time it was taking just to set up a HTML server or something, because I remember like just using PHP, you gotta do like crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, so I don't know, like like twenty years before, like thirty years, yeah, twenty. Uh, that was maybe I don't know, like days. <laughs> and now in one hundred fifty seconds, you can have a blog post, like front yeah. end, back end, everything responsive. Like awesome, so yeah. Yeah, in the nineties, wow. you used to have to say no. People would want a website, but like it's like, well, you can't necessarily afford to hire me full time for three. <laughs> <laughs> nine to five every day right now. But that's the whole point is if you learn to get a base in place, something like Graph CMS and so on and so forth, so that you can just crank them out and then do CSS tweaks on them. It's a really good way to supplement your learning yeah. with like a lot of flexibility. So yeah, that's right. Um yeah. So I think like I'm gonna just stop sharing my screen. We can have another like I don't know, 10 minutes chat and then I can go to another demo. Uh so we uh yeah, switch a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, like there are like a lot of stuff that we're going to see later. Uh, I mean, like there's going to be a quick demo. Yeah. It's been like 30 minutes so that yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to jump into that like 10 in 10 minutes or so, but we're going to kind of like create a mutation. So we're going to be using mutation also to uh, create a, some data or just put some data. Um, um, but I'm curious, like, uh, like to hear from you, like Alex and if, like, if you are using like, I don't know, like some CMSs or like. Are you using like, I don't know, some Netlify function to kind of like create this kind of content or like AWS? Because there are like so many, Hasura, of course. So there's like so many companies doing really, really awesome stuff. I, I would like to hear from you guys. Like, I don't know if you have any favorite or are you are using anyone that right now? Yeah, there's a ton of different options. We use uh, Gatsby for our own website. So our blog is powered by Gatsby and we just use like MDX files to um, and host those Great. on Netlify. Um, that's why I was excited to have you on today because I haven't used Graph CMS <laughs> in real life. So I was excited to see what you can do with it. But yeah, what other content stuff? You know, it's funny. I used to build a lot of CMSs. Yeah. So it's like, uh, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, for oh, stuff like, I don't know, back when, what, like in the early 2000s and the mid 2000s, uh, I would build CMS as opposed to use them. I never really even thought about like, hey, I have a product here. <laughs> <laughs> I built a huge one for the Chicago Marathon at uh, one point. But most of the stuff that we do, we try to work with just pure GraphQL so that we teach people yeah. like what's going on so that they can come work with you um <laughs> it actually <laughs> <laughs> help you complete the cms as opposed to use it to crank out sites and that's what i that's but that that was something that i was very excited about and watching your demo because i know that that's how like web development companies make money is by cutting down the overhead and what it takes to do a site and part of that is learning so part of it is knowing graph cms pretty well but as you can see like it's, it's possible yeah, but it's like pretty intuitive yeah like it's like, you know play this again <laughs> slower yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all those things. and now you got a blog site you know and it's like it's totally worth it's like you're ready to start selling that stuff yeah you know you're ready to start selling your services and your knowledge and all of those things as opposed to waiting for like google to hire you you know like there's there's ways that you can make money and cms is, is the way that's yeah. why everybody everybody <laughs> used wordpress for like a decade to do that like so many developers got good with design and used wordpress and just cranked out sites and that's how yeah, yeah WordPress was kind of like the 30 or like the 60% of the world website in the world, which is yeah. just 
crazy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a lot. Totally. It's a lot. Yeah. The work you have to kind of put up the work because you want like you know you could use the like uh next js template all the time but basically you should have your own template so that you're ready to go and you use your own template you change everything about it you can change the colors and the layouts and and all of those things per per customer but but yeah it's pretty exciting to see because i've worked specifically with cmss a lot, you know? <laughs> i was like what a great idea. <laughs> 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 That's right. That's totally right. So, okay, I'm going to go and share my screen again, and we can see a bit of a different feature that GrassMS has and do some mutations. Yeah. And then we can close it up with some QA. Um, yeah. yeah, so we have here like a, a different, so we have the schema. So, here we are going to define kind of instead of you know, going to the SDL and just create our types. So you can go here and let's say in the post now we want to add, I don't know, like we have here, like these are our types. So you can add a single line test, a multi-line, a markdown, a rich test, number, plot, boolean, date, there and time, like JSON, there are like a lot of different stuff here. And also references. So for example, like here we have how we are gonna connect author to uh, post, right? Like, so the posts they are gonna have authors. And what I like is for example, like the developer is when we are adding content, so let's say that I'm gonna create a, or like I want to create a new post uh, by myself. Uh, so usually you are going to you are gonna go to the post, but also I want to see like how many posts I have created already. So here I can just go and say because I know already there is a relationship between posts and and and, and authors. So I can be my author view and I create a new post from here. So I don't even have to go to the page and see okay these. A uh, foreign kid is gonna be, you know, this ID is gonna be connected to that ID from that table, and I have to check all the kind of stuff because I have that experience with other like, platforms. And here you can just go and just see, okay, I want to pause. There is a relationship, so I can just like like go and create it, and it's gonna, I don't know, test whatever. Um, I'm gonna put just like the required fields, and then I'm gonna be able to. You're gonna have validation, so I can. Uh, so that you can also have a different uh, localizations. So I'm gonna just like magically upgrade to <laughs> to the growth plan for free because yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> because I can. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, there are there are like a lot of like functionality that we we, we can see. For example, like let's add any pause. Uh, I'm gonna add some lo uh, locales first. So I'm gonna add on a Spanish, for example, and then you you are gonna have like all this information yeah. done by default, so you don't have to like do all the parts automatically by um, uh, like you know like like writing the code. Uh, and now we're gonna see what we're gonna get from the from the API. We have the GraphQL as well here. So I'm gonna create a new pause and I'm gonna just run a test. I'm gonna put a local a localized field. Okay, I'm gonna do it later. So test test and then date and then I think this is required and I think. Yeah, there is something more required. I will, we will see it here. Yeah, there is some a required data content, so content, and then we get. Uh, so I can just have here the new field, and also I can say on publish, and I'm gonna publish this post. So anytime that you are gonna try to you know like change the status of any content uh, within your stages, uh, you gotta kind of like say on publish. So you gotta kind of like uh, say, okay, I want to put this to production, for example, right? As we have done now, and something that I really love here, because for example, let's say that you have all the stuff, and now you're going to, uh, you can go to the API playground, and you're gonna do, I don't know, pause. Maybe it's called right, yeah, pause. Um, this is awesome because it's GraphQL, right? Like you have to complacent, and this is great. But I think there is something that is like there is also the explorer, which is awesome, <laughs> and I love it. But I think there is like another step, <laughs> uh, which is this one. So you're gonna be you're gonna be in the in the um, in for example in the author view, and I'm gonna get these like all these authors. So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna click in preview play, in playground, and I'm gonna have all the query with all the fields already. I have already everything yeah, here. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome because you just have to copy this, put it in your IDE. Create here, you know, like a new cons, whatever, GraphQL, and then just like put it here and you're gone. <laughs> and you get that's and that's it. So otherwise, you know, you gotta go and um, and do this kind of like with the explorer, you're gonna do that kind of like easy because it's great, but this is like an like a new level of laziness. <laughs> um, <laughs> Productivity, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not laziness. Um, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. Um, 
and you also I gotta say that a uh, grassy MS it, it 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 has kind of like the it um uh it follows the rely specs. Uh, mm -hmm. So this sounds awesome if you wanna use relay and you're gonna have like all this like optimization on the front side. Um, uh, yeah, here we have like different locals, different stages, and yeah, there are like a lot of like hiding like features that are really pretty cool. And we are working more excited features that I cannot say yet, but yeah, I think they are gonna be released super soon uh, because I'm working really hard on it. <laughs> also, we have a, <laughs> <laughs> so I have here a NASA view here. We're gonna see kind of like all the images as well. Um, so I don't know, like the user experience is pretty good. We are also, it is pretty great that we are perfecting content, um, which is so great. Uh, I think we have this already in production, uh, but where it was this? It was, I'm not sure it is in production though. Yeah, so basically it's like, we saw that for example, when we were like, uh, yeah, I think here's, have, no, I don't know. It's, so when we, uh, we have implemented a mechanism when we are hovering for, I don't know, like, some like uh, 300 milliseconds or like 500 milliseconds in, I think in the content view, well, we are gonna be able to um, to prefetch those contents. So whenever you're gonna access it, there's gonna be already in the Apollo cache, we are using AC3 um, and, and yeah, you, you can see here, right? We, we can see it. So you can see here that I'm gonna hover and we are gonna fetch the detail from that. So this will be um, the content for and the design ID and that is also the stage. So now if I click here, it's gonna open immediately because the, all the information is already in the cache, in the Apollo client cache. So that was like a really nice feature to, to work on because uh, we compare like how it was before and how it was uh, right now. And now you do this, let me, I think I have already fetched, yeah, this one. I'm gonna just open everything. It's gonna just like show up super quick. Um, so that was also a really good feature to work on. Um, but yeah, so now I think we're gonna go to the uh, second, yeah, uh, live demo. Uh, so now we're gonna just like submit some information. So first, what I'm gonna do is like create a new, um, a new uh, kind of like, let's say type. So it's gonna be submission. Uh, that I'm gonna do this because it's gonna be faster because I'm gonna copy and paste the, the code from a tutorial. And this is gonna have, let me just close this. And this is gonna have like whatever, like, information that I want to put, I'm gonna just like call it title and that's it. Then you can add whatever you want here and put it, uh, I'm gonna just show you guys that we have like, you can put this as a localized file if you want it. So then we, we can do it to, so for example, localize, local uh, field, whatever. And then we can call it local field. Um, we have validation. So if you wanna make it as required, as, in, as unique, you have also a regex, validation, custom validation that you can put here in the record that you wanted. Let's say that you're gonna have an email, you're gonna have a uh, URL or I don't know, other stuff. So you can also do it from here. Um, and yeah, there are like other like hiding features here that I don't have time to go through. But yeah, I'm gonna just show the uh, local, the how the locals are being uh, displayed. And then we can go to the mutation. So here I'm gonna create in the content view, I'm gonna create a new submission. Uh, and then I'm gonna just a uh, create the, the Spanish I'm gonna say, I don't know, hello. And um, then it's gonna be hello and it's gonna be hola. Uh, so yeah, so this is gonna be like pretty straightforward. If you don't want it, you can kind of like just like disable it or like delete it uh, up to you. Uh, so I'm just gonna mo quick modify the submission schema. I'm just gonna um, uh, remove this if I know how to remove this though. Uh, delete field, okay, okay. I'm learning, like now I'm just learning because I'm just going. <laughs> so uh, anytime I'm going through kind of like a demo, I'm just like learning like all the stuff that we've, we've got. Mm -hmm. Great, so I I think I, we have, okay, I deleted the submission, so we have a new model. So what I'm gonna try is like to submit some stuff. This submission, it might be comments, it might be, mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever you want, right? So we are gonna go to the code base. So I'm gonna show you guys the blog post. Uh, that it was um, what we have seen before. Let's let me open it up, uh, which is here. So uh, we have the Slack, uh, which is going to have a title, an author, an image, and a content, right? So this is what we're going to we're going to what we're going to see here. We're going to see the header, uh, which is going to be this one, I guess, the post header and the post body, and um, yeah, this uh, here, in, I guess in, in Within this company, we, yeah, we're gonna have the cover, the cover image, the avatar, and all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, so I'm gonna just uh, run this. Before that, I have to remove a pause because uh, there might be some, so I'm gonna remove this just in case there is some, uh, how can I remove this? That's another question. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I know how to do that. So we can confirm here. Okay, so if I run yarn uh, on yarn dev, I think uh, we should be good to go. And we're gonna open that in local, in local hold this time. So I'm gonna open this, not there. I have like too many screens here. Uh, okay, here, great. And then we should have here the same information that in Versal. Let's see if that works. Uh, this is like running. Maybe there has to compile some stuff. Let's, okay, compiling, yeah. It's gonna like build the, the and boom, we have an error as always. Okay, makes sense. Okay, so this is the examples, but we, uh, how we, how do we know like where, where it's gonna, like the information that where it's gonna come from, right? So we gotta put the same that we have done before. So we gotta put it here. So I just gonna remove this and block all, and I gotta just copy and paste the same um, uh, endpoints and API access token to access to it. Uh, so I'm gonna get the API and I'm gonna get the dev token. And this is gonna be secret and this is gonna be this token. Feel free to copy the token and do whatever you want because I'm gonna disable it whenever we finish. <laughs> <laughs> I already memorized both of them. <laughs> you, cannot do, you cannot do much with that stuff. Uh, yeah, so now I guess like with this information, we are gonna be able to fetch the content from Grass CMS and display in a basic uh, NestJS and React application. And this is F FY for my college at Grass CMS. This should be TypeScript. <laughs> And I'm gonna just, <laughs> as soon as I can, I'm gonna just like, um, yeah. Okay, so we should be good now. So if we refresh this, we are gonna have in localhost our blog post. So it's All the right. same than before. And now let's do some mutations here. It's gonna be super quick to don't run off time today. Um, yeah. So um, what we can do uh, first is just, I'm gonna open a, a blog post from my colleague, Jeremy, uh, that he wrote a, it was like Nest, yes, forms. So I guess is this one is programmatically uh, create forms and capture submission with Nest, yes, and GraphQL. I'm gonna post this uh, blog post in the chat because this is really good if you wanna build some stuff. Um, um, basically, I'm gonna go a bit fast and I'm gonna just explain, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna say mutation. <laughs> and then we're gonna go just, there are like a lot of content here, so you can just check it out later. And today we are gonna just go to the mutations. We are going to uh, copy the code, which is gonna be this one. I can just copy it here. So in Nest.js, yes, we have an API uh, that, for example, like this is gonna be create uh, submission dot yes, and I gonna okay. I think this is not this one. It's not this this one. Uh, yeah, so basically what we're gonna do here, and I'm gonna go now a bit um, slow so I can explain a bit. Uh, so basically there is gonna be a function that is gonna be executed anytime that we are calling the create sub submission uh, slash, for example, if we do fetch API the slash create submission, uh, uh, Next.js is gonna kind of execute this file. Uh, and basically what we are doing here is like, we are gonna uh, just get the graphical client from graphical requests, we're gonna pass uh, the grassy MS endpoint, I'm gonna just check that this has to be the same, of course. And then we gotta pass a GraphQL mutation token because you don't want to allow to the people to modify any data, right? So we are gonna need another token uh, because you might want to kind of like leave the people, like if you have a fully GraphQL API, you might want to leave the people to get uh, the, um, um, uh, for example, the draft, the, the published stuff, like you wanna expose them to everybody, right? But you don't want to, it's, you know, like allow people to mutate your data, right? So here, what we're gonna do is like, we're gonna create a submission, uh, the data, let's let's do like this easy kind of like data, data, and that is gonna be, uh, we're gonna create a new one. So the ID is gonna be by default, and then we need uh, that for from the, from here, so basically I'm gonna go to the API playground. I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna go to the Explorer because I don't know what is GraphQL, I'm here. <laughs> uh, it tells me everything what I have to do, right? So create submission, I can just create this, and this data, it should be 
submission create input. So I can just copy that and then I can just uh, do it because I know that that was, this is the type that I need. And then we are gonna just return the ID. So I don't need the ID. And this data at the moment is gonna be a, it's gonna be a mock. If we will have like TypeScript here, that will be great because we could kind of like parse this uh, mutation, we could create the types and we are gonna have like auto compression about the variables here. But in this case, I don't. So I just wanna check uh, which data we need. I think it's just uh, the title. Um, because that's what we have defined here, right? Like we have the schema, we have the submission that is only a title. Um, so then I'm gonna just like hard code this and this is gonna be title, uh, I don't know, test, whatever. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, so this will be good, this will be good. We need the mutation token that I think I'll really put it. So, okay, in order to make this work, we have to go to the settings, we have to go to the uh, API access and say that we are gonna create a new uh, token name that is gonna be Grass uh, MS Mutation Token. We are going to put that we gotta get the data from draft and publish and we're gonna hit the mutation and then we're gonna create it. We are gonna copy this token and then we should be good to go in this side. So this is gonna be kind of like our um our api let's say like our query graphical query in this case is going to be a mutation and now we have to call to this to this um to this method right so i'm gonna just copy quickly uh, this fetch and then we can just create here in I don't know, in top of the header so let's say we are going to have uh in the index uh there's going to be a lot of different in the app we should have a let me check post index. Yeah, here we are we are gonna have like hero pause. Okay, so maybe here, uh, not here. So I'm gonna create a function that is gonna be function uh, on click, maybe 100 click, better 100 click. And then I'm gonna do something like this. Yep. And then the body, it is gonna be, I don't know, just an empty array at the moment, then we can pass the values, we can create the form and we can do that. But let's see uh, how much time that's gonna take. And then here we can create a button that is gonna be an on-click, uh, on-click, and then we can close this. We have, we gotta put a name, right? A, yeah, so it's gonna be a create submission. And then, yeah, and then I love this because you, just gonna just put this to invocate the function, which is awesome. Uh, so anytime that we are, this is not gonna be submit, this is gonna be the name of the, the function that we have created. So in this case, this one, I'm just gonna copy in case uh, that I forgot to something. So fetch API address, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I think I need to also, um, here I have to add this. So I just gonna do jar add. And I'm not sure if I need GraphQL though. Not sure. Yeah, I think, yeah. I'm gonna just install it just in this case. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we might be good to go. So I'm gonna just see if we have the bottom, where we have the bottom, because I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what is it though. Uh, let's check with the local host. Local host, here it is. So we should have a button probably in the main page. Yeah, here we have it. And then we are gonna open the nav bar. Um, then we are gonna see what happened when I click here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it's not gonna work out first, right? But yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do it kind of like some debugging and some stuff. Okay, if that works at the first try, I, yeah, that is gonna be yeah. No, I don't, I it's don't. on the screen though, so I think that's a win. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so okay, I got I got to kind of restart the server because uh, uh, NestJet it has to get kind of like a new environment, uh, the this environment variables. Yeah. Uh, and with this, uh, yeah, maybe like I I I forgot something, but yeah, we will we will debug it and we will see uh, what it was. Well, but what is going to happen is like here in submission we should we should be able to. Uh, now there's nothing, so if we click 10 times, so we should have like 10 different um, fields. Uh, so I guess that we should be good here. So let's click one, let's break it, and then let's do it again. <laughs> okay, so we get it. 
Oh, so I think it works. So I'm gonna just quickly oh, wow. yeah. break yeah. it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just oh, break it. Yeah. <laughs> if we reload, it's gonna be now. It's like the 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 magic. So if I click command update, ten 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 ten. Oh, it worked. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, so it was kind of like, I don't know if which city changes. Um, so create, that's a really good abstraction of Nest uh, that it allows you to kind of like encapsulate different like functions here. And then you were just, you know, like, uh, yeah, there's like invocate the, the function in the index. There's some like formatting here. Uh, and But then, you know, like here we can, you can create a form and we can just like put uh, the different like inputs and just like pass to the body and that's gonna come here. And you're gonna get here the data and then you can pass here that data here. And, and that's it, and that's all it. Uh, so that's how easy it is to kind of like like push content from your um, application with Grass CMS and, and FES. This is pretty straightforward. Like you just need this code, and they do all the front side, and then you just um, you just uh, go for it. Um, uh, yeah. So I think that's gonna be all my life code for today because. This last party was really good. <laughs> so <laughs> I just, I'm gonna I just leave it here. That was so <laughs> I'm not, awesome. I'm not gonna code anything more, so I, 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 I'm good. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, please, if you have any question, uh, please put in the chat. Now I can go through because maybe there are like some questions already in the chat. Um, how did you get the indentation styling? Uh, I, I don't know if a uh, yeah I don't know what it, Anthony I don't know if you mean kind of like the um, yeah I don't know I don't know maybe like you you set up like a uh, prettier or like a Eslin and you're gonna have like the different um, stuff. Derek says, is there another chat other than the YouTube one? I think there is not right. Yeah, I think they Derek was looking for his book, but we're gonna make sure uh, okay. that he's the winner. <laughs> okay, I have, okay, I gotta check Twitter. Maybe I have Derek here. Okay, I got it. Okay, sorry, Derek. I was like super concentrated on the live stream. I will. <laughs> you were making <laughs> buttons happen. Maybe we yeah. can all get the number and get a free copy of the growing business account. The seven hundred ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. I would love to. But then my my boss is gonna <laughs> he's gonna pass it to my invoice. Yeah, <laughs> model invoice. Yeah. So um, Carlos, what would then, you say is the best place to like? Where would you look to learn Graph CMS? Like, what are some good resources for that? Um, yeah, that's a nice question. Um, like usually we do have a lot of like different integrations. So we have Gatsby, we have um, uh, Nest, yes, uh, we are working on a Netlify integration. So we have a blog post that I'm gonna, dream, uh, I'm gonna just like drop the link. Cool. Uh, we're there like a lot of resources about Grass CMS. So I'm gonna just put it here. Um, and also, like all the folks, like all the Devrel team, Jesse, Jen, and Jonathan, they're doing such an incredible job. Like, uh, like speaking, like there's several conferences and meetups. Uh, we have a lot of like YouTube videos that I should check. Where is that? But I think in the blog post you can find a lot of different stuff already. Nice. That's a question for me because it seems <laughs> real cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, any question, please. Like anybody, if, if, if you have like any question regarding like Grass CMS, GraphQL, TypeScript, please like reach me on Twitter. I'm, I'm I'm super passionate about this technology, so it would be really really awesome to connect with you all and I just like discuss anything like uh, join a meetup. Uh, I don't know. It, <laughs> I like I like all this kind of time. For me, it's like nine nine thirty p.m. <laughs> and I could be here like all night. <laughs> so I just like yeah this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So even more impressive that yeah. you made that demo work. So yeah, flawless. that's so yeah awesome. that's right. Yo, wow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, you can follow Carlos on Twitter. We dropped his Twitter handle there in the chat. I'll do it one more time before we leave. Um, I'm going to share my screen one more time because I have official links that make us look like we are prepared. Um, <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter, Moon Tahoe and Eve Porcello. And you can join our mailing list to bit.ly slash Moon Highway. That's where we share all sorts of articles and 
free giveaways and things like that. But much more importantly, thank you so much, Carlos, for being here. You're one of the most positive, awesome people, and we always love talking to you. So if we have to make up a meetup to hang out for now, before we can yeah. see each other in person, <laughs> I'll do it anytime. So um, thank you so much for all your time today. And uh, yeah, we're excited to see you in person for real sometime soon, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, it was like it was a real honor to be here. I'm a super fan of you. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that we're gonna see each other soon. <laughs> that has to happen. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. yeah, hopefully, yeah, next year. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for having me here. I had so much fun today. Uh, yeah, looking forward to like keep attending to every single meetup that you're organizing because they're awesome. And I guess like next month there's gonna be another one. So uh, I'm really looking forward to, to, to yeah to attend it. Awesome. Yeah, next month is October seventh. We have a we have a, a list. That's interesting. Are we still looking for people too? Yeah, we are looking for Doing people. Doing something fun next month. Yes. So uh, check out my Twitter, uh, Eve Porcello. We're going to have talks by tech people, not about tech. So we have someone giving a talk about Hamilton. We have Kurt Kempel talking about oh, wow. how to set up Twitch for live streaming. So if you love baseball, if you love making brownies, or if you love boating, um, you can give a talk about all of those things. So thank you all for being here. We'll be back October 7th and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.